Hello everyone and welcome to Cheesy Code. In this video we will learn about few unknown or you can say less common things in Visual Studio which in real scenario are very useful. So let's see what are these. Let's start off with the first one which is a very cool feature personally I feel is very useful. This actually helps you to locate an open file inside a solution explorer. So let's see how we can use it. So here I have a MVC solution in solution explorer. This is the default MVC solution I have created. Now suppose I open a file inside this. Let's take example of this layout file. Now if I collapse all the files, entire solution and go back to my file. Now when I open this solution explorer again, I cannot see from where this file was picked up. Like if, if it was picked up from here, I should be able to navigate it right there. So there is an option to track the active item in solution explorer. From here I will turn on this feature in project and solution. So this is the feature we are talking about, track active item in solution explorer. If you click on this. Now if you go to solution explorer, it will automatically navigate you to the specific file. So if I had opened this file and just collapse it. Now if you go back and check, it will navigate you to the specific file inside the whole structure. It is very helpful if your project has multiple files, multiple folders and you are working on a big project which has multiple layers. So this feature is really helpful in those scenarios and I personally have this setting on. Now let's jump to the second index which is the line number inside the code editor. Many people like that in their editor there should be line number present so that they can easily navigate through the code and instead of using go to statement they can go directly to the specific statement or you are looking at the stack trace and you have to go to a specific line number so instead of using go to you can use the line number so how to activate this feature go to tools options again then in text editor select all languages here it is line numbers if you select it tada over here you can see all the line numbers so it's basically easy to handle so you can set this on for your editor now let's discuss the third point how we can format an external file now let's take example of two files that i have already these are two files one is json file another one is xml file these are big json and xml file so here we can see that there is a single line xml file that's laying around so usually if i want to see what's written in this i just go to some online formatter and that formats my xml but instead of doing that i can come to visual studio and help myself now to format this just press ctrl k then ctrl d and it will be automatically formatted so that you can understand it it's the easiest way to just format as xml now let's take example of json here's the json now in case of json there is a catch you need to just distort this a bit to get it formatted now just press ctrl k and ctrl d so it will be formatted now this remaining json to format it again just distort it and press ctrl k and ctrl d so that's the easy way if you just want to read the json and don't want to do anything else with it. Now let's discuss about the fourth point. Showing search result in different window. Now you all must be aware how to search specific keyword or search term inside a solution. Just press Control shift f and if I'm searching for suppose Microsoft inside my solution. So when I click find all it shows me the result for this keyword. Now notice that uh, this result is shown inside the find result one window. Now if I want to search for another keyword without resetting this window, I would just press Control shift f. Now if I want to search for another keyword like um, suppose code, now there is an option in result option. This will show me results in another window so that the results in window one are not reset by this action 
so if I search find all now there's another window open for me for code keyword and for Microsoft there's another window so that's how we can use two search result window to ease our life now let's go to the fifth point how we can see compilation error for a specific file or for a specific project in this solution I have created multiple errors just to show you the error list here there are multiple errors that I have created so these are showing me different files now suppose a scenario in which there are thousands of errors and there is a big project there are build errors but if you want to check in a single file in which you have done a work so you just open that particular file like in this case I am opening home controller and for this specific file you can just select current document and it will show you just the error for your file specific file so you need not to worry about all those errors you just have to check which error is on your file and you can easily check in your specific file so that at least you be sure that your page is not causing any error there are other options as well for filter open documents shows errors for all the documents that are open current project for the project selected it shows all the errors and if you just uncheck this selection it will show all the errors so that's how you can filter out the errors of compilation so till now these are the five things that made up to this video I'll make another few videos for more such useful things please let us know for any queries and if you like this video please subscribe to our channel thank you for watching